It is so interesting. People always think Tai Chi is only for old people, but it is not. It's for all ages, especially in a modern city like Hong Kong. It can release your strength and bring you back, find your own way and peaceful. Don't turn the body. Yes, don't twist. Keep it firm. I, I still remember very well. The first lesson I taught my student, it was about 20 years ago. I was so confident about it. I never hesitated. It was just like a calling. I think it is very important that my students, they are really dedicated into learning my family Kung Fu or our original Tai Chi form. It's one of the reasons to keep me going, to keep teaching my students. Move the hip and don't forget, use your palm to rotate and the foot keep pushed to the ground, keep stable. Many people, they will say their Kung Fu idol is Bush Lee, but for me, it definitely is my father. He's humble, thoughtful, with powerful Kung Fu. I can tell you one story. When I was a teenager, one day, he showed me his punch. He walked close to the wall and then hold his fist and punch to the wall in a sudden. And I saw there is a little hole into the wall. So you can imagine how hard his bones are. Tai Chi and Peyomatic Kung Fu are all always in my blood. First, Peyomatic Kung Fu is my family Kung Fu. It has the collection with my father. And also I'm Hakka people. This is our Hakka Kung Fu. Our ancestors, they used it to protect the family. One of our posture like this. We, in Cantonese, we call it Go Sao. Go Sao. So it looked like Pei Mantis. In the olden days, it wasn't called Pei Mantis Kung Fu because they teach in the village. It is just village Kung Fu. Pei Mantis Kung Fu is only used for self-defense. So that's why we teach students step by step with finer details. You have to understand the foundation and build up a good progress. Tai Chi has its own explosive power form. I was addicted into it. So that's why I started to learn Chen style Tai Chi. It's not only about soft movement, also have the powerful explosive form. So fundamentally, Tai Chi and Kung Fu, they are quite similar. They contain all things, wisdom, explosive, soft, gentle. There are loads of words, thousands of words to define it. But there are no words can fully describe it. It's a process to expose your mind and your body. Observe my arms when I move. I'm not only moving the bone or the muscle. I collected with my mind, the spirit. You have to guide the chi energy, go through your arms. It's about the circulation. That's what we practiced, the trans style Tai Chi, the original Tai Chi art form. So when you move, relax the shoulder and the elbow always protect the rib. Being a musician, I can't really do much punching and twisting. So Tai Chi seemed like the the perfect thing for me just to kind of learn more about my body and energy and how to apply it in a defense setting and also for kind of a calmer meditative setting. So mentally it's very interesting so all credit to him I really enjoy learning on the Master Chao. I think that the biggest misconception about Tai Chi is that it's only for old people and for Asian people. I think that um, Tai Chi is also for a younger generation and myself as an expert, I also feel that it helps me a lot with my um, wellness. The head, strict. Hmm. 
yes, and tan. Yes, this one is good. Yes, the hip, the leg muscle, yes, must be firm and stable. Yes, and the shoulder will be last. Mm. Transfer the weight to the other side. Body strict. Yes, good. Yes, keep doing like this. I've been following for 10 years. In fact, if we want to do something, and you don't have what you want, then you can do it very easily. 啊，會即係 quit 咗嗰嗰樣嗰樣嘢啦。咁啊，因為周師傅佢教學生咧，佢嗰個係好即係個態度係好親切啊。有陣時我哋都可能好煩啊，咁成日問佢嘢啊，咁但係佢都誒，佢、呃、唔介意，佢會即係講到你明為止咯。咁其實都呢個好難得噶，因為因為我比較蠢啲。<笑> I'm very lucky. They are very passionate on it. I remember there was one student. He came to Hong Kong. He's an architect. He decided to new art museum in Hong Kong. In that three years, he kept coming to class and learning every time he came to Hong Kong. So he was so impressed. Tambien, Sepawa, Los Brazos, beginning movement. It's so important to preserve this traditional art form to the next generation. Because now we have social medias, so I have recorded and edited 1,300 videos and published them on YouTube with five languages. They are Cantonese, Mandarin, English, French, and Spanish. I want to promote it for all of the countries. I'm trying my best to do the preserve. I have low talent on learning languages, so I want to overcome it. Now, I can speak different languages, so I want to do more for my Tai Chi and my Kung Fu. That's why I recorded those videos for everyone in the world. I've been teaching over 3,000 local and international students. They are from different countries. They are from South American, North American, Europe, South and North East Asia. If you ask me, is there any one of the special memories? I would say the English football team Tottenham Hotspur, when they come to Hong Kong and joined my class, the weather is very bad, but they are very dedicated into it. I have dedicated my whole life into it, into Tai Chi and Kung Fu. So it's a part of my life. You learn Kung Fu is for strengthen your body, also protect yourself. It's not for so off. This is how I learned from my father. Humble, thoughtful, and respect people. Nowadays, I'm still trying to do it as best as I can.